Okay. Hello guys. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement open tracing instrumentation in Spring Boot application using Zipkin. Again, I hope you have a Docker in your PC. Otherwise, you have to download it from Docker Hub website. Okay. Uh, there are only three basic steps that we are going to follow here. First, uh, we need to install and run our Zipkin uh, web application. Second, we need to create a Spring Boot application where we implement our open tracing instrumentation. And third, uh, we need to test our Spring Boot service tracing using Zipkin UI. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first, uh, we need to go to the Zipkin uh, website so we can uh, Basically, uh, we, we need to ins uh, install our Zipkin, right? So we need to copy this command. Docker run, then the, the Zipkin image. We, basically, we need to copy this and run in our PC. Okay, let's go to uh, my server. So in my case, I already ran it earlier. With, let me remove it first. Docker. PEC0. So let's test our UI if we can access it. Okay, now so we cannot access this, right? So let's run the the command to install the Zipkin web application in our Docker. So uh, at first, if you don't have the uh, Zipkin e image uh, at first it will be downloaded from Docker Hub automatically, right? But the next time you run this command, uh, it will simply run the image. Okay, let's ins let's run the Zipkin. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, test it again. Okay, now we can access the UI, right? As you can see now, uh, there is no service yet, right? So it's empty. Now uh, we will create our uh, Spring Boot so we can implement this uh, open tracing instrumentation using Zipkin. So in my, I already created a simple uh, Spring Boot application, but as you can see, even I run this, oh yeah, let's run first this. So uh, in my Spring Boot, I have one only one endpoint here, REST endpoint. It's called test, okay? Okay, it's already run, okay? Let's try the application. Let's access the Spring Boot application. Okay, there we go. So as you can see here in our Zipkin, even we already trigger our uh, Spring Boot application. As you can see, uh, still uh, the Zipkin is not detecting our service or our Spring Boot application, right? So now the first step that we are going to do to enable the uh, open tracing instrumentation in our Spring Boot application is uh, we need to uh, add Zipkin dependency, which is this. Let me copy and paste. There are three dependencies that we need to add in our POM XML. Okay. Let me add it here. So basically, we need the 
uh, open tra open tracing that's spring web auto configure artifact second we need the brave open tracing artifact and the third is the sipkin sender uh, okay HTTP 3 artifacts okay so after we add these uh, dependencies just need to save and uh, let me uh, shut down first the app okay okay we refresh it then let's see if uh the dependency let's see let's check if the dependency is already there okay we can see the zipkin right open tracing jars here so I meaning it's there already then after that we need also to uh, uh, create a bin tracer bin using the uh, zipkin api okay we tap and paste this There we go. So let me explain this. Uh, this tracer is Sipkin implementation, okay? So first we need to create the, the sender object. This sender, this sender object must be pointing. We need to point this to our Zipkin server. So as you can see here, 192.1680.114. And the port is 9444. Nine, Four. This is pointing to our Zipkin uh, server, the one we uh, just installed and deploy in just now. Okay, let me check this. This one. See, as you can see, the server is one nine two one six eight zero one one four, and the port is nine four four four. Okay, so it it has to be pointed here. Okay. Second, uh, we need to create the reporter object. Uh, in creating this reporter object, we need to uh, pass the sender, this first object that we created. Then after creating that, uh, we need to create a tracer object using this API. Okay. Uh, when creating the tracer object, we need to pass a service name which is this one and in our case we put sipkin dash client that my spring boot one two three right so later when we uh, when we check our uh, zipkin ui we should be able to see this uh, service name okay okay i think that's all now we can run this uh, application and let's see Okay, let's wait a bit. It takes time. So basically, uh, still running. So as you can see now, our Zipkin UI is empty, right? Let's refresh it. Still empty, right? Still empty. Now let's run our Spring Boot uh, application again. Okay, and see, let's check again in our Zipkin and see if uh, the Zipkin can detect our uh, Spring Boot service. Okay, there we go. See, this is our service Zipkin client my Spring Boot 123. This is the one we configured just now, right? Let me show you this one. Zipkin client my Spring Boot one two three. 
So it means uh, we already successfully uh, enable our open tracing instrumentation in our application. Okay. So that uh, let me show you the details. So this one, you can see all the annotations here. The tags is basically same as a uh, uh, Jager. Okay. So there are the details here. Okay. So basically, that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this video and happy learning. Bye-bye.